build an automatic irrigation system using Arduino. And this would be a fun, simple science project where you would be able to water your garden without actually watering them by yourself. So this is super easy, super fun and super exciting. So let's get started. Before getting into the detail, please, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, grandma will go to your garden and eat all your plants. My friend Ashraf will take you through this journey of this video and grandma will meet you at the last part of this video. To continue with this project, you need a plant, then some kind of sensor to sense the water level of the soil. And then based on those data, we will supply water. The sensor we will be using is a moisture sensor. It uses capacitance to measure water content in its surrounding. So this probe will go into the soil and this will get connected with an Arduino. Arduino Nano will work as a brain for this project. You can actually use any Arduino board but I prefer Arduino Nano. And finally to pump water we need a water pump. So I will be using this cheap water pump. This is actually submersible. You can you can submerge it into water. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't work if you don't submerge it into water. You also need a uh, no 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 not the car. Yeah, the plant. You also need a plant. Now is the time when you need to connect all the things together. But I know you guys hate electronics so much. That's why I have made just a board for you that will make making the projects very easier. It is an Arduino Nano based board which has a motor driver that can drive two motors and has all the digital pins here and all the analog pins here. You can see we also have the VCC and ground pins separated for each pins. You can also connect a Bluetooth module or serial module here and SPI board or modules here. That's pretty amazing, right? By the way, you can actually download the Garber file of this board and order from anywhere you want. Now, let's connect the Arduino here. And we will connect the sensor first. Take three female to female wires and connect the VCC to the red or the most darker wire. and ground then this is the digital pin and this is the analog pin we will use the analog pin as i have mentioned this side is digital and this side is analog and the pcc pin is 5 volt here now connect the sensor output pin on white and, and then PCC here on the red and ground on black end. Now we can upload code and check the sensor data. Now connect the USB cable and plug other end to, the, to your computer and download Arduino IDE to program this board. Now open up your favorite browser and go to this link. Select your operating system. I am selecting Windows 10 and currently i don't have any money and i don't want to donate so i'm clicking just download and it will go to the download page and my download will start after downloading open arduino id it will take a little time this opens this usually opens a blank script anyway so now i have to select my board board is arduino nano that's right here and then the port the port will automatically appear that's the only port okay so compile then i will test if the board works so there is an led that's a built-in led in pin 13 i will try to make it blink so the code is saved here go to examples basics then blink okay so this is the code press on this button to upload the code this indicates that the code is uploading and now the LED will blink 
after okay the code is successfully uploaded and now as you can see it's maintaining a delay and blinking that's a success now we can proceed and read from our sensor now we need to upload a simple code to this board because it's connected in the analog pin we can easily go to examples basics and analog read serial so this code actually reads from analog pin 0 which our sensor is connected now upload the code and open serial monitor you can open serial monitor by clicking in this icon or pressing ctrl shift and m at the same time okay so now that there is no connection of water um, actually it's not getting any water so the data is 1023 that is the highest an arduino shows now if i pour it in water you will see the value will drop okay so the value is dropping or decreasing it depends on the water level as you can see that that's pretty amazing right so the lowest value is 427 and the highest value is 1023 so we can decide that if the value is higher means less water is on the soil and if the value is lower means there is a lot of water in the soil now using this logic and using this code we will make the pump work as we have discussed earlier the pump is just a motor so we can connect it here but before that let's attach the motor onto our water tank so this box will be used as a water tank and we will connect it here the most important thing is this is the inlet and this is the outlet it has to be submerged in water because it has very less suction power but it, it can actually pull so let's now attach this using hot glue make sure you don't close the inlet there has to be a little gap so that water can go through okay that's perfect now let it dry then i made a hole although it's not actually And I have also made a simple wire loop so that the pipe always face downward. And just like that our project is ready. Now the plant can easily order water just like we use food ponder. Thanks for watching.
so that's all my dear grandkid if you have watched until this point please please comment below that you love grandma and if you express your love for grandma grandma will produce video every single month just for you and if you want to explore and if you want to learn more about python you have to explore the awesome app that grandma has produced and you can find it in the google play store called programming hero also you can find it in the app store called programming hero that's all from this video grandma will see you in the next video